Hi, FreePercussionLessons.com. Making mallets again today, uh, timpani mallets that is, and what I'm going to show you is how to wrap a chamois mallet. Chamois mallets are great for when you need something a little harder than a hard felt mallet like this. This is with piano felt over wood. Um, and not quite as pingy and hard as a raw wood mallet. I like to make uh, chamois covered mallets for things like Handel and Bach and early Mozart, maybe even some Beethoven. Um, when I need something very articulate but on plastic heads, the chamois really uh, cuts out a lot of the pingy sound. Um, what I've done here is taking a wood mallet. These are a Saul Goodman number four and I've wrapped that with two layers of chamois, which is this soft leather that's normally found in the auto supply section of your local hardware store for washing cars. Um, I've also made mallets with chamois over cork. This is a uh, piece of bamboo I've st stuck the cork on and I've wrapped that with two layers of chamois. And this is great, it's a little lighter than the wood. Now today, what I'm going to do is take a bamboo with a wagon wheel around it, or on top, sorry. And you see I've put a thin layer of felt. I have a thin layer, thinner than this actually, that's about half this size. And I've glued a thin layer of felt but this is American felt around here. You could use moleskin, that works as well. Just, I want to try something with a, a, a layer underneath of the chamois. What I've done is I've taken my chamois and I've soaked it in water. So I've got it a little stretchy, it's easier to work with. And I like to have the um, the rough side out. If you'll notice on any chamois that you get, there's a smooth side and a rough side. So I want the rough side out. So what I'm going to do is first double the chamois. You can see I've made a bunch of them already. Um, I'm going to double that. I'm going to and then wrap it over my mallet. Make sure I have enough to work with. Just want to this like this and I'm going to go I'm going to pull as tight as I can then I'm going to take my kite string I use 30 pound test kite string for this you can use dental floss you can use um, uh, fishing line that works well too and I'm just going to start it and I'm going to wind it as tightly as I can, pulling, keeping it close. I'm not going to go around a whole lot of times, maybe three or four. Then I'm going to make a clove hitch where I loop it back over and tie a clove hitch. On my site, I think I've posted on another video lesson about knots. So I'll make a reference to that. So you you don't know what a clove hitch is. I'm going to make a couple of those. And that makes it nice and tight. Now, I have this extra piece that I started with. I'm going to finish with a knot here. Just tie that off. Whoops, got away from me. Sometimes it's good to have a friend hold the knot for you. I should be able to do it. There. So there we have it. Now, the ultimate goal is that it looks like this. So to do that, I take a razor knife and trimming right underneath the string I can cut very carefully 
all the way around the bottom of the chamois. And if you use a sharp enough knife, you won't have any trouble. And that creates a nice, clean mouth. So there you go. Now, what I like to do, because I'm always afraid that the chamois or the string, I mean, will, will come loose. I never trust my knots. I take some crazy glue and super glue. Nail polish works, clear nail polish, if you, have, if you don't have any crazy glue around. But, and then what I do is I paint the string with the crazy glue. That just creates a nice seal and that locks everything tight. There we go. And it dries real quick. For instance, I made these mallets about 10 years ago. They've never come undone. They're, they last forever. So there you go. I made this one earlier. I have two pair of mallets that I can use for um, like I said, uh, Handel's Messiah, early Mozart, something when you want something very hard, but wood is just too pingy or too hard, and your hardest felt mallets just aren't articulated, aren't articulate enough. So there you go. How to how to wrap chamois mallets on FreePercussionLessons.com. We'll see you later. Bye.